Hi friends, today we are going to introduce you to a movie called, A Quiet Place, an American post-apocalyptic horror film released in the year 2018, directed by John Krasinski, with actors like Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, Millicent Simmons, Noah Jupe and more, a completely quite secluded, uninhabited kind of city is shown in the beginning of the movie, then a big shop is seen, where a big notice board is filled with a lot of newspaper cuttings, having news of missing people in that place, suddenly a small girl's running legs is seen, the small girl's elder sister Regan follows her lead and says her to stay calm, on the other side of the shop, their mother Evelyn takes some pill and gives to her sick son to consume it, the little girl, Bo, shown earlier, is drawing an aeroplane on the floor using a chalk, then shows her sister, Regan, the sign of an aeroplane with her hands, and asks about flying an aeroplane, then she stood up and went near an Elmira, and tries to get a toy aeroplane, placed above, along with a lot of other toys inside it, when Bo tries to get down, the toy aeroplane in her hand, slips down which Regan catches and prevents it from falling onto the ground making any sound. Their father Lee comes there and Regan seeing him, keeps that toy silently on the ground. Then Lee is accompanied by Regan, and he shows her a device that could connect some kind tools and radio signals. Evelyn brings her son, Marcus near Lee, and tells him in sign language that they should leave, because it is going to be dark soon. Suddenly Bo brings the aeroplane toy she wanted, leaving everybody in a shock. Lee takes it from her by making her understand its consequences, and removes the battery inside it, then gestures everyone to leave the shop in sign language. Regan then gives Bo the toy aeroplane without battery back, and gestures her to keep and play with it. Everybody leaves the shop, but in the very next scene the battery removed and kept outside is disappeared, intending that Bo has kept it with her. In the next scene, the family is seen walking without footwear so that even that sound should not come, as family was walking one by one, the one most behind was Bo, who suddenly starts the toy by putting battery in it, and it started making sounds, everybody in the family got terrified and looked behind, Regan who was deaf, realized that something bad is going to happen, Lee who ran as fast as he could to save Bo, but fails, a very strange, horrific alien kind of creature attacks on Bo, and she dies in front of her family, making them all cry silently. The next scene shows things happening after 475 days. There are only few people including Lee, and his family is left on Earth. Lee puts cameras on all sides of his house and keeps an eye on them carefully. There were some details about the alien written on a board, like it being blind, but has too strong hearing power, which they use to catch their prey, three early alien attacks that have took place at Lee's area. Lee in his room, tries to get connection to other places to communicate somehow using radio signals, but fails. Evelyn, who is pregnant now and has her delivery date soon, can be seen making a cloth toy, preparing oxygen cylinders for the baby, if it makes sound by crying. In the next scene, on an evening, Lee is on top of a tower and is making fire above it. Lee finds fire burning somewhere far away from standing on top of the tower. Other people living at different places, does this firing thing to indicate that they're still alive. After that, in the next scene, everybody is seen having their dinner quietly, and after that Marcus and Regan plays a dice game. While playing, Marcus accidentally pushes a kerosene lamp down, from which fire spreads. Lee comes quietly and puts down the fire asking everybody to remain calm and silent. Suddenly noises of birds flying away from roof is heard and then sound of somebody walking which makes everyone scared. When Lee sees outside through window he sees two rats running away, and everybody feels relieved. In the next scene, Lee is trying to make a hearing aid for Regan, to where Evelyn comes and plays a song on earphones, to which they slowly, calmly dances happily. In the next scene, on a morning, Lee has fixed red bulbs to signal danger. When Regan tries to go to the basement, Lee prevents her from entering there, to which Regan feels angry, and says she isn't a little girl anymore. Then Lee gives Regan the hearing aid that he was working on before, but Regan is annoyed and gestures, that, not even a single hearing aid that he makes for her, works properly. Lee becomes emotional saying that he won't give up and puts the hearing inside her hands. Then Lee wants Marcus to go for fishing with him, which Marcus is afraid of. Evelyn makes him realize that his father won't let anything bad happen to him. Then Regan quarrels with her family to go fishing with Lee and Marcus, but she is prevented from going. 
and is told to stay at home itself to which Regan becomes upset and goes back to her room. At the river bank, Marcus is given a fish that made weird sounds that makes him frightened, but Lee explains Marcus that. When the river is making noises the aliens won't hear them. Then Lee takes him behind a small waterfall, and tells Marcus to scream his lungs out, which makes both of them very happy. Then Marcus asks Lee that, whether he thinks that Regan is responsible for Bo's death. Lee replies that, nobody is responsible for that tragedy, and he loves Regan a lot. Meanwhile Regan carrying a bag, comes to that place where Bo was killed before, and places the toy aeroplane there. Regan feels sad and sits there for some time. Marcus and Lee goes back to their home, with the fish they've caught. On the way, Marcus notices an old man standing depressed near his wife's dead body. Lee gestures him to stay quiet, but the old man suddenly screams out loud. Lee runs as quick as possible and hides behind a tree, shutting Marcus's mouth tightly with Lee's hands. Soon the alien comes and attacks the old man. Meanwhile, Evelyn's delivery is going happen anytime soon. She paces quickly towards the basement. While getting down from the stairs, a sharp nail hurts her feet, to which she wanted to cry out loud in pain, but instead shuts her mouth keeping her own hand on her mouth as tight as possible. The photo frame that she had in her hand falls down with a sound too. Evelyn, suffering all her pain, goes and turns on the red lights to indicate danger. Suddenly she notices the alien on the roof of her home, and hides quickly. Lee sees the red bulbs lightened around his home, from far outside. He runs towards there realizing Evelyn is in danger. Lee finds the alien near his home. Lee gives Marcus a torch and some crackers, so that when it lights up, they can divert the alien's ears from their home, and help Evelyn. Marcus runs and fires the crackers, whereas Evelyn gives birth to the child during that noises went on outside. Lee enters their home with a gun and gets frightened by seeing blood all over the place. Suddenly Evelyn comes from behind, and both of them hugs each other with joy. Lee brings Evelyn and their baby inside the basement and leaves. In the next scene, Regan rushes to home seeing all the crackers being fired all over the sky. Meanwhile Marcus after cracking all the crackers, starts feeling scared to get back to home through a field. Marcus hears some sounds and starts running as fast as he could, and while running drops his torch too. When Regan reached near the field, she see the torch on the ground and went to take it. An alien was standing behind her, and suddenly her hearing aid started to sense some frequency deviations which a annoyed and made the alien run away from her. Marcus drags Regan near to him and gestures her to stay silent. In the next scene Evelyn tells Lee to help their children Regan and Marcus. Lee then steps out from the basement and starts searching Marcus and Regan. Marcus and Regan goes up to the tower and makes fire up there which gets blown away after some time, leaving them disappointed. Meanwhile at the basement, Evelyn who woke up from a nap, sees water getting filled up there, and an alien was approaching her baby. Evelyn takes her baby and goes to a portion of the basement where the water was falling down. When the alien approached Evelyn, the sound of water falling didn't let the alien hear Evelyn's or baby's voices. In the next scene, Lee is searching for Marcus and Regan, but couldn't find them at all. Meanwhile, a door, whereon Marcus was standing, breaks and he falls inside a room filled with grains. When the other part of the door also falls, Lee realizes that there are someone on the tower. When Regan tries to save Marcus she starts throwing under the grains, but Marcus pulls her out from the grains. Lee finds and runs to the tower noticing an alien approaching towards the tower. When alien comes above the tower, Marcus and Regan tries fixing the door against entrance, but the alien starts attacking them. Suddenly the frequency from Regan's hearing aids disturbed the alien, and it leaves instantly. Evelyn sees from the camera that, both the kids running towards their father and hugging him. Lee hears the alien sound near them and gets scared. He lets the children sit inside a truck and stands with a shovel in his hand. The alien starts attacking Lee and seeing this Marcus comes outside the truck and screams at his father. The alien then goes near the truck and starts attacking the truck now. Seeing this Evelyn is terrified. Lee who was attacked too much by the alien somehow manages to stand and gestures to the children that he loves them a lot and will always. Seeing this, Regan becomes emotional and tears started falling out her eyes. Then Lee with all his strength screams out loud to bring the alien to him from his children. And in that process, Lee is killed. The children try to leave the truck and go near their father. But Marcus puts the brake on, and the truck started heading towards their home. Back at home, Evelyn hugs her children and starts crying. Everybody then goes to Lee's room and finds the hearing aids made for Regan which makes Regan cry. Everybody gets frightened as Evelyn feels the presence of aliens near them. Evelyn takes a gun, and an alien with its sharp ears, starts searching for them inside their room. Seeing Regan's hearing aid frequency deviations disturbing the aliens, they realize that the alien's weakness is the frequency that came out of the hearing aid. They increase the frequency of a machine nearby, 
that Li used to connect with other places using frequency signals, making the alien disturbed and annoyed as crazy. The noises inside the room make the baby cry, and the alien started approaching the baby. Regan when increased the frequency of the machine more, the alien got collapsed, and everyone becomes a little relieved. But then the alien that stood up again, was killed by Evelyn's gunshot. After that when Evelyn and Regan see the camera footage, they find two more aliens approaching their home hearing the noises. The movie ends where, to destroy those aliens and protect the family, Regan increases the frequency of the machine at its maximum, and Evelyn loaded her gun. The movie is too thrilling and spine-chilling at every moment, leaving huge anxiety among the viewers at the end of the movie as we are shown that more and more aliens approaching them. Apart from the thrilling part of the movie, it also shows us that how being together as a family is an important thing in everybody's life. Hope you guys have enjoyed our video today. If you liked our video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share our video and leave a comment below. Until we meet again with another wonderful video. Goodbye!